Period piece and low budget usually don't go hand in hand. I've seen it done well in a case like Aguirre, The Wrath of God, or even Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which uses its low budget for humorous purposes. I didn't expect to find something like that on this box set, but here it is, Guru the Mad Monk. I was expecting this to be some 30s mad doctor movie, but this was actually made in the 70s, utilizing terrible actors, cheap costumes and sets, and lousy effects. And you know what? I loved every minute of it. I really like how it opens with a storybook, you know, like one of those Disney films, as if this is some kind of tale you'd put in a children's style storybook. Then the credits transition into the style of those Chuck Jones Looney Tunes shorts. Maybe this guy was a fan of animation. Basically, it's about a church during the 15th century that's in charge of capital punishment. It's run by the Mad Monk himself, who helps a worker free a woman who's been sentenced to death due to a misunderstanding. It's really weird because he doesn't recognize who she even is until he learns her name, realizing it's his long-lost love. Her name is Nacha. Nacha? Oh no, no. Nacha, look at me. Because coincidences like that happen all the time. This guy's name is Carl. Our lead's name in the 15th century is Carl. Okay. Mm, Carl. Nice name. He also enlists the help of this witch doctor who gives him a potion that will temporarily stop his lover's heart, faking her death, and helping her to escape. It's kind of like Romeo and Juliet in a way. Carl ends up devoting three months of servitude to the monk in order for this to happen, so in the meantime, they're stuck hiding at the church. Then the main focus shifts to the monk. Yeah, we kind of just forget about Carl and his girl. I've seen that happen in stories before, but usually those movies are longer, not just 55 minutes. The monk himself is portrayed trade pretty well when compared to the rest. He keeps talking to himself in the mirror, having a Jekyll and Hyde persona. It's never really fully elaborated upon, but I guess he's fighting with his inner demon. He even murders a number of people, including the higher-ups of the church. The monk has an assistant who is a hunchback named Igor. Okay, so this is less of a period piece and more of a monster movie now? Igor is a simple-minded man who befriends the captive woman, and even ends up helping them in the end. You know, he's the most enduring character of this flick. The witch doctor has to drink blood like a vampire in order to survive, I guess? It's never really explained. In two scenes, random visitors to the church are murdered and sucked dry, even though it has nothing to do with the rest of the story. It does add a weird dynamic to the witch and the monk, because you never really know if they're in a sexual relationship or just partners in crime. They show a lot of the punishments on screen. Watch as this guy gets his eyes poked out. Yeah! Oh, look at those effects. Oh, and look at the hands. Look at the hands. Here they go. Whoa! Physics defined once again! The movie actually has a pretty high death toll, especially when compared to the past couple of movies I've watched. This was directed by Andy Milligan, who kinda grew his own cult following after his death. Many of his movies are lost from the grindhouse age, but ones that have survived are a showcase of low-budget schlock. He actually considered this one to be one of his worst films, but I think I kind of like it. There's many laugh-out-loud moments, and it's not even close to a long runtime. It reminds me of House of Frankenstein with all the weird, different characters, and even though there's not really a solid theme or main protagonist, it's still a fun movie. It's just so bad, it's good. Come here. I said come here. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Yes, you're telling the truth. Thanks for watching the video. A special thanks to Ryan for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to join him and get early access to certain videos and have your name stamped on the end of videos and even request reviews monthly, then please click on the Patreon link and thanks for the support.